Good morning and uh, welcome to Sunday, July 16th. Um, got up this morning and I got a, uh, a video filmed unboxing the Matte Pack uh, set that I got recently in my Cool Stuff Incorporated order uh, because I'm looking at like I have a video for this Thursday and then nothing for the following week so I'm like okay gotta catch up again. And I have a couple other things to film and really I should probably do that but with my camera, it has to cool down a long time anyways. I mean, I can only record so long before I have issues. Um, and so I'm like, okay, I have this. I'm getting the footage imported. I will edit that, make sure I have another video edited for the following week, and then hopefully not wait until um, I'm behind before I film the next one. Um, Originally I was thinking of doing video game stuff this morning until I realized a couple days ago. Um, you know, oh no, I'm, I'm almost out on that channel. Um, and the tabletop gaming channel is definitely the one that I give preference to over the video game channel. Um, video game channel has content more frequently, but also no schedule. So I can just move it further apart and, I mean, I, I have no, no schedule there, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, whereas every Thursday there's a new video on JadeCon Gaming, and I've, I've done that for long enough now. Uh, I mean, it's sort of the idea when I started the channel, and I missed a couple days, or like a couple weeks near the beginning, like, I got sick and, and things like that, but now I film things enough ahead of time that I can keep up with it, and sometimes I move the things that I filmed, you know, if, if I get to film something new that's it's more current and more up-to-date, um, and where a lot of the unboxings, like, this is unboxing for a map pack that came out, I think, a couple years ago. But I just got it. So, it's exciting, and it's the kind of thing that, if there aren't a huge number of video, you know, videos out there showing it off, then I have a nice camera, I can show off good quality image, and I've also figured out, because I used to think, you know, oh, why are people interested in watching me opening up some of the things, like the, the flip mats? And then someone made a comment about it, about liking one of the ideas that I get from it. I was like, I guess I do kind of talk about stuff. And now I do that deliberately. It used to just be the kind of thing of I was thinking of things to say. Now it's really the idea of if I can come up with an idea, concepts for why, how you can use it, why you could use it. Um, I think that's probably the, the thing that I bring to it most and going to be the, the reason why, you know, to bother to have it. Um, but all that means probably not going to do a video game filming this morning, and it's a one-day weekend, or rather, it's Sunday, Saturday, so next, on, you know, five days in between the weekend, <laughs> whatever, because the week is split like that, oh well, but, uh, I'm gonna relax a bit, probably try and find something small, -y. probably just some snacks or something, um, before heading to church, so, so I'm headed off to church now, um, and, uh, I did manage to get the footage imported, edited, and I got it, the export started just as I left, so that should be uh, probably done by the time I get home, so, um, so I managed to get a, a whole little video sort of filmed and, and sort of prepared this morning uh, before church even, so that is nice. So just got out of uh, church and worship was powerful. Um, really enjoyed that. Now we're getting ready to uh, go out to a Chinese buffet with some friends from church here. So uh, letting the car cool off a moment and then I'm gonna head over there. I do enjoy myself a nice uh, Chinese buffet. It's the next doctor. He's tall. How did they invite Paul and this one?
It's a girl. Yeah. A tall, thin girl. They broke them all. Hey, how you doing? Jody Whitaker, the 13th Doctor. Can, can we talk to you? I don't like Chinese? No? <laughs> Gee, I forgot that part about my personality. About your personality? That I don't like Chinese food. Yeah. Since when? I don't know. Rory just said so. fun time out with uh, with friends and family. Uh, good food, of course. Um, earlier this week, I went to the my friendly local gaming store and got a couple magic cards after after leaving the dentist. Um, and while I was up there in that plaza, I see a new shop, half price books, which I've never heard of before. Um, and so I walk over to it, and it's just a bunch of empty shelves. It actually opens tomorrow. But I don't have off tomorrow, so I can't go there. But I was looking at it, and I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll check it out sometime in the future. And I, I left. And then I watch a video since then. I mean, that's only been like three, four days, four days maybe. I watched a video since then where someone mentioned they got um, a game from there. I was like, oh, yeah, I just saw that. So so there, there's one in their area. And then... Earlier this morning, I'm watching another YouTube video, and someone mentions uh, a box set of for, uh, second edition Forgotten Realms that they've gotten from a Half Price Books. So I'm like, there it is again. So I look it up, and there's another one in my area, and uh, I'm here. And this one is open because I've heard about it too much this week not to go, and I don't want to wait till next weekend. So I'm going to check it out. And the section is small. But I have found the deck gaming section. <laughs> See if there's anything I want for a price that I'm willing to do. Oh, how fun that was. They were actually having a sale today only of sign up for their online email list and get 50% off the highest priced item up to a limited discount that I got nowhere near. But... Um, but yeah, that was that was mighty fun. So I got a couple things. Um, I did get a new sealed pawn collection that I don't have yet because it was significantly less than even buying it like through an online retailer. So that was cool. And then my higher priced item was one of the Forgotten Realms, uh, you know, box sets. So I got it for half price, and it's actually taped shut. So I haven't actually seen inside of it, seen how, seen what condition it's in, anything like that. So let's uh, check it out. Okay, 
Ooh, that's a thick book for a box set. Nice. And our maps. Maps are fun. That's one of the reasons I love the box sets. Um, I like the idea of collecting role-playing game stuff. Um, I don't really have a place to put it quite yet, but I have started doing that at this point. Um, usually through my friendly local gaming store, usually about twice a year, has a used gaming auction. But I found apparently uh, Half Price Books is a good... Um, a good way to tide myself over in between those auctions, so... I'll look through this a bit, and, uh... Then honestly, I probably need to plan out the dungeon in case I get to play D&D tomorrow myself. Three, maybe three and a half hours later, and I am done. I have made the dungeon for tomorrow's game. Uh, pretty much set aside other stuff that I would want to be getting done today. Um, I did already get that one video filmed this morning that I needed to do. Uh, but other than that, set things aside and I did it. Um, and I mean... I mean, it's not a, a small dungeon by any means. Um, I mean, it's not like, you know, a campaign length dungeon, but I mean, it, you know, they may finish it in a session. It may take a couple. Um, depending on how thorough they go through it. But uh, I have a few different layers of interesting things happening. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, took a while. But I'm pleased, you know. <laughs> two, two lined sheets of notes, two pages of map. Uh, one of them only just a little bit of spillover. Um, very pleased. Uh, it's not just a simple dungeon, but it's a dungeon with a history, and a history that I tied into the world. Um, further developing the culture. All that kind of stuff is stuff I love doing with D&D. Um, so I was really happy with what I was able to create with it. And I think the players are going to have fun in it as well. So, uh, it does include one um, unique magic item that depending on how they use it, may be uh, world-breaking. Like, like totally broken. Completely, utterly broken. Because it's just very vague. Um, and so depending on, I mean, if they want to, to do it, they can. But I'm um, ultimately at the point in the campaign where, I mean, it almost ended because of how much money they got. The campaign is probably, therefore, starting to wrap up. Um, you know, I mean, that may be a while still, but it's it's definitely on that wind-down portion at this point. So, I figure, worst case, yeah, it breaks it, but if it does, it will only be because they're having a very fun time breaking the world. And that's okay. I mean, if they have fun, I mean, that's ultimately the goal, so I'm willing to risk it, and they may have just find some cool uses that are not broken as well, so I'll have to wait and see, but I, I'm aware with one of the things I'm putting in there, might be broken. <laughs> oh well. And I've got a couple of uh, roast beef sandwiches with au jus for dinner. That was a, that was a really nice dinner. Uh, I'm... I'm not incredibly fond of home-cooked meals. Um, honestly, I tend to like going out to eat at a nice restaurant, or even a lot of times a mediocre restaurant, a lot more than that. Um, but but roast beef sandwich with au jus is, is really one of the meals that I do very much enjoy that is a home-cooked meal. So, that was good. Um, and I'm thinking I'm probably just going to get to bed pretty much here soon. I, I did get uh, a vlog uploaded, but I didn't even upload the, the video I'd, you know, shot and edited to get today. I'll do that later in the week. Um, yeah, I still got a little bit of time. Um, I know it's ready, so. <laughs> I mean, heck, I used to ha upload them the day of before I actually sat down and figured out how scheduling works, so, you know, still plenty of time. As long as it's ready, it doesn't take very long. If I needed to do that but uh, yeah just gonna head to bed now um thank you for watching 
and uh, join me again as my journey continues. Bye.